Hi, my loves. Welcome to your reading. Okay, for today's pick a card, we're going to find out what the person on your mind, what are their true intentions with you guys at the moment right now. So keep in mind, it's going to be a general read. So if you pick a pile, it's not resonating, feel free to take a look at another pile, or you can check out all three piles, or it just may not be your message today. That's okay, because these are general. All right, so I'll have timestamps below and uh, we'll dive in with pile one. Hey, pile one, welcome to your reading. Okay, let's take a look. We're going to find out what's person on your mind. What are their true intentions here with you? Um, keep in mind, going to be general. So if the cards are coming out, they're not resonating. Feel free to take a look at another pile. Okay, pile one. What, are, what is this person's true intentions here? So we have the wheel coming out. The ten of swords. I was almost about to say ten could be significant. So I don't know um, if there's been an ending between the two of you and they want to change something. Or if this is talking about them letting an ending happen on their side. So we're going to find out where this is going. Let's, um, what's the hidden energy? The eight of swords. So they're, they're really not sure. Um, definitely a mental trap. Let's see this. Why is the eight of swords? For some of you, this person could actually be incarcerated here and uh, they're kind of waiting for that to be over. <laughs> not for everybody, clearly, but, but I'm pretty sure there's like one or two of you out there for that. Eight of swords. Let's see. Seven of Swords. Two of Swords at the bottom. Wow, there's a, like a lot of thought going on right now. Like two of Wands behind that, a decision, a crossroads, six of Wands, Page of Pentacles. Hmm. Tell me about this. King of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this person hasn't fully told you how they felt it's uh it's been left unsaid so there's been a little bit of deception but i think it was just a lack of holding back because this person you know could be a choice for some of them that they would have to make in order to pursue this or this is a choice about them being vulnerable here and they're scared to do that <laughs> okay the chariot at the bottom and the king of swords yeah it feels like somebody hasn't been able to take action or they haven't taken action out of fear but they're thinking about it. So West Row with Ten of Swords. It's the sun. I really want to know about this this Ten of Swords, though, because it can go a couple ways here as to what their intentions are, because it does feel like there's been an ending for a lot of you. And if that's the case, they're wanting a brand new fresh start with the sun. Tell me about this Ten of Swords really quick. It's about the Two of Wands. Again, why? There's a lot of twos. Seven of Cups at the bottom, Eight of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Six of Swords. Seven of Swords and the Empress. I mean, for some of you, yeah, there's going to be connection that they're in. <laughs> that they, um, they're they considering. <laughs> if they want to be with you, the Empress, which they've been hiding their true intentions here, their true feelings for you, then they would have to make an ending. For others of you, yeah, this person, it ended with them because they didn't know if they wanted a commitment is what I'm getting. Okay, what's wrong with the wheel? Ooh, Ace of Pentacles. Well, now they do. If that's the case for you, then yeah, this person, it feels like their intentions here, once they can get out of their head, once they can get themselves unstuck, um, it feels like they want, they want a fresh slate. Like they want to wipe the slate clean, start over. Here's a solid offer. You know, um, that's really what this is. Tell me about the wheel. Why is it here? Oh, it's you. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. So, so again, whoever this is, if there's been an ending or not, or if they have to make an ending on their side, they're fixated on you. Their intentions here are to make you a solid offer at some point. Okay. And circumstances may prevent that right now, but in goal, it's what they want. Why is it Ten of Swords? Tell us more about this. The High Priestess. So has there been some silence? Yeah, you guys could have walked away here. Or they just couldn't. I mean, it could have be that this person stayed silent. They never told you how they felt. Is it ending to the silence? Is what I'm gathering. So either way. Eight of Swords. Tell us more. Four of Cups, are they scared of rejection from you possibly, or they feel like they missed an opportunity with you here? And so they're they're wondering if it's too late. Why the Four of Cups? Four of Swords. The Fool and the Ten of Pentacles. This person wants this with you. Now, if they're connected, what their intentions are here is that they 
they have to kind of look at the picture. They have to get a plan um, because they've been doing a lot of nothing is what it feels like. And that, that could be why you guys have pulled back. Um, if they're not connected here and this is them actually taking a leap towards a Ten of Pentacles type of relationship here with you, then that's what, you know, they've, they've taken this pause, this time out here, I think to reflect, um, before they do it. Nine of Wands and the Star. For some of them, yeah, they tried to fight it just because they didn't want to give up their, their freedom here, but you can't really fight destiny. And so that's kind of what this is. It's like a big air of destiny around this connection. <laughs> okay. Tell me about the sun. It's the hermit. I knew we were going to see another major there too. So Virgo energy out, Libra, Taurus, Leo. Yeah. Okay. They've hid this. They've hid all this for you. And now it comes out to the point what their intentions are, what they want is like forever with you, with the Ace of Pentacles, the wheel. Okay. But you wouldn't know this, part one, because they hide it all. <laughs> and again, it's one of two reasons why they do this. You know, they're either in something or they feel like they're not quite at a spot where they can make you this solid offer and give you what it is that you deserve. Why is Ace of Pentacles? What's, what is this? Two of Swords. So crossroads. Either way, either message that you're resonating here with. There's an obstacle, whether that is them giving up freedom or them ending something else. Tell me about this Two of Swords. The Emperor. Right. Big decision here. Feels like a life-changing decision for this person, no matter which way you slice it. So then we have the moon at the bottom and the knight of wands. Again, they're hiding all this passion and attraction for you. And uh, they just, they may need, they may feel like they need more stability before they pursue this with you because they have an idea of how this is going to go. Ace of Swords, Three of Cups. It does center around some sort of communication, uh, their very next intentions with you about this because there has been uh feels like a period of silence for a lot of you with the five of pentacles two of pentacles because there's a choice <laughs> you know what are we doing here they know what they want i i just feel like this person is having a hard time putting an action plan together why the wheel and the empress seven of wands ten of swords at the bottom and the four of swords they feel like you guys could be guarded here or this is either them knowing that they need to make an ending and they haven't done that yet. And so now they're waiting to make you any kind of offer because they've kind of put a hold on what they need to do on their side, right? Because they're in their head. That's only going to be for some. Okay. But behind that, though, we have the Knight of Swords and the Magician. So either way, it feels like it goes from a period of silence to them manifesting some sort of communication, some sort of action to be taken here towards you. Why the sun and the hermit? What I'm doing here? The lovers, because this is right. Oh, I mean, if this person tried to deny this connection, I don't see how they could continue to do it because it is super powerful. So Gemini energy out as well. Three of pentacles, king of wands at the bottom. Well, and again, it's, it's insinuating some sort of choice that, that would have to be made, whether that's them, you know. <laughs> letting go of fears here about about telling you how they feel what they want or making a decision in love why the high priestess uh what, what is this about queen of wands all this attraction like they 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 have kept kept from you guys <laughs> it's like i think by one you know how this person feels i mean there's probably like physical reactions you know, when they're around you. Four of Cups at the bottom, though, and the King of Pentacles. But, you know, they tried they try to play it off. I don't know if this person likes, likes gameplay or something here. I mean, something about this, where it's like, I don't know if you guys do this little thing back and forth, and yet you, nobody says anything, but you're both, you know, for some of you. <laughs> there is a fear of rejection, though, if they actually did tell you what they want. Tower and the Ace of Pentacles behind that. Mm-hmm. I mean, for a lot of you, they're, they're, this person's going to be in a connection and uh, that's why they've been silent. But I feel like, you know, it's to the point now they need to say something. Speak now or forever hold your peace. What is this Ace of Pentacles here? 
The Three of Swords. The Wheel at the bottom and the Six of Cups. Yeah, for a lot of you, like I said, it's going to be one of two things where they're in a connection and it is breaking their heart to be at this crossroads and letting you guys slip away because they don't know what to do. They know what they want. Their intentions here with you are, they, I mean, <laughs> they want it all. But, you know, at the end of the day, there's a choice to be made. The wheel, the six of cups. And if this is for you guys too, where, where you're not, you know, they're not connected. They just didn't want to settle down. It's almost like, you know, they may have lost you guys for good is what they feel because, because of that. Either way, seven of swords, nine of cups. They've hid. They've hid their true. Oh, there's the empress in between. Mm. Wow. Well, this person's in love with you. So whatever the block is here, collective, I feel like once this person gets out of their head, they're going to be able to make some sort of decision about what action to take. Um, why the empress? Tell me more about her. Nine of swords. Oh, you make them nervous. That's for sure. They do feel like they're losing you, though. Two of cups at the bottom. Again, three of wands. There's a decision. I think they know it's coming. It's it's about to be decision time for a lot of you or you're going to walk away. They are scared that this isn't going to play out the way that they, that they want it to. Four of cups. Again, you know, there's that rejection. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying pile one. I, I don't know. Um, all right. Well, what do they plan to do next towards pile one here? Near future. If anything, the five of swords, well, okay. page of swords at the bottom and the seven of cups. So yeah, you know, they're still there. They, we see them. It's no surprise, right? Like this person near future, they're going to keep watching you trying to figure out a solution really in this sword energy. Um, they understand though, the longer they take, the more of this five of swords is it's, it's kind of their fault. If you guys do walk away because they take too long, I can tell you this person is going to be a major regret. Okay, we've got the devil and the two of wands behind that. Again, there's this choice. There's so much centered around this choice, whatever that means for you. This person allows it to keep them stuck. So, you know, it's a repetitive loop of trying to find a solution. <laughs> So Pile One, I'm just going to say, you know, their intentions here, they want to make something work any way they can with you, but some circumstances it looks like need to be figured out first. So, all right, loves. Well, I'm going to leave this one here. I'd love to hear if this resonated with you guys out there today. And if you guys enjoy the reading, don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out. All right, guys, I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye, Pile One. Hi, Pile Two. Welcome to, hi, Pile Two. Welcome to your reading. All right, let's take a look. We're going to find out what the person on your mind, what their true intentions are here with you, this connection. So keep in mind, going to be general. Um, so if the cards are not resonating, feel free to take a look at another pile. Okay, pile two. What's your person over here thinking and feeling about you right now? What are their true intentions with you? So we have strength, Leo energy coming out. The chariot, Okay. So Leo, Cancerian energy, page of wands. feels like somebody's gearing up to take some sort of action here, take a little risk. Um, you know, I don't know that it's going to be something too big and bold with the page of wands, but it is definitely out of their comfort zone because it does require them to have some sort of courage backing this movement here. Why the page of wands? The Hierophant. The five of pentacles at the bottom and the nine of cups. Okay, well, I'm going to clarify this. <laughs> Why is the Hierophant here for that page of wands? Ten, ten of pentacles. All right, so this is either going to be somebody taking a risk to enter into more of a committed connection, something that they're not quite used to doing, you know, but for you, they want this here, pile two. Or if your person's connected here, then this would be them taking a risk and kind of, you know, going out into the unknown, leaving something that they've known here behind doesn't have to be a connection. It could be a work thing. Okay, whatever. Uh, two of wands at the bottom and the two of cups. They've, um, whichever way you're resonating with this, it's like they've chosen you. So, so either way, pile two, it feels like this person feels like you are their future and you are a soulmate here. Okay. Making them want to do something a little crazy. <laughs> What's wrong with the chariot? 
In judgment. Ew, they made up their minds on you. Mm -hmm. If they were confused or if they weren't sure about this, whoever this is, their intentions are to pursue because they now feel like you are the one. So let's see what's red with, with strength here. King of Cups. Well, they're following their heart. This person definitely has a lot of love and feelings in their heart for you. So big heart. And I think um, this is kind of what's motivating them to take some sort of action here. If you haven't talked to them in a while or they haven't fully expressed these feelings, I think they're about to go out on a limb and do something here that you may not expect. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Why is strength here? Seven of Swords. Have they have they held back? <laughs> Why is Seven of Swords here? It's like they've got a strategy or King of Cups. Okay, this feels like somebody coming forward to tell you about feelings that they that they've hid okay yeah three of cups as i say that mm -hmm. somebody coming forward to for some reconcile with you but this is a conversation about emotions queen of wands behind that very attracted to you while too let's see why the chariot so we're getting a lot of sevens here so seven 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 could be significant this person de definitely feels like there's some sort of luck to you, uh, to this connection. So I don't know if like they met you guys and their luck increased or like things started happening for them. Um, there's something to do with that. Or July 7th could be significant in this connection as well. It's been a while, but I mean, the seeds have been planted. It's like this person can't not do something here with you. They can't not pursue this. And if they've been hiding feelings, I mean... You know, they, they got to make a decision. They got to make a choice to be proactive. Why the page of wands? The six of wands, because they want this. It's a victory after a long battle with them. And you're that end goal. They've never taken their eye off the prize with you, even if it may seem like that in the 3D. This person's always had an agenda here to to do something, to move this forward. Uh, six of wands. Tell me about this. King of Pentacles. I feel like this person, whether you know it or not, they've been like saving up or something. Their intentions are to provide you something with stability here, you know? Um, so there's something here to do with finances where they want to impress you with that. They want to prove to you and show you eight of swords and the hangman. And they're not sure that you view them as, as a long-term partner, the way that they're viewing you. Also, for some of you, I mean, yeah, if they if they were in something else, and this is, you know, them being stuck in their head about this. Uh, I just, I really feel like there's something here about them wanting to impress you, though. Okay. Judgment. <clears throat> the Queen of Cups. Look, it's counterparts. So we've got the King and Queen of Cups out here. This, this person feels like you are the one. You're their soulmate. You're their match. <laughs> there's, like, nobody else. I, I don't, you know... So whatever the circumstances are, for some, it could be distance here. And that's why this person really hasn't um, made more of a move to get this going. Either way, you're, you're the one. They've, um, the seeds have been planted. It's kind of that. Their intentions here are to have this victory with you, Pile 2. <laughs> King of Cups, why is he here? The Ten of Wands, because there's been a lot of holding back. I bet this person's stressed. It's all these feelings here that they feel like you're a soulmate. You're the person for them. You guys were meant to be. But yet they haven't told you this. You know, with the Seven of Swords, the Strength card. It's like, wow. Okay, well, their intentions are to have something solid here with you. What's the Seven of Swords strength about, though? Why are they holding back? That's, that's the main. <laughs> that's the main thing. Knight of Cup. King of Pentacles. You could work with this person or again, they could have some sort of obligations that prevent them from coming forward. The other layer here, if that's not it and you're not resonating with that, is the fact that they feel like they need more stability before they uh, make you this offer, you know, and it just would be a confidence boost for them to to finally like get the words out, say what they want here, make this proposal or whatever they want to do. Knight of Swords at the bottom and the Seven of Cups. It's like they know that they're going to do something here with you. It's almost just like trying to formulate a strategy now. Again, they're all about impressing you here, Pile 2. 
<laughs> this is a seven of pentacles. Oh, that one didn't want to come out. Hmm. There we go. Injustice. So Libra energy out. Five of pentacles and the four of cups. Well, really what's held this person back is that ultimate fear of rejection, which is so common. And it, you know, I, I mean, there's something here to do with money though. Okay. They want more of it. They, they feel like they need more of something here so that they don't get rejected so that they do get the six of wands with you. Two of pentacles, ace of wands. And there's almost something here. This person questions if you find them attractive the way that they find you <laughs> attractive, how to. So there's something, it's an insecurity, really what I'm getting. And they think that if they um, have more stability or they have something here that makes them look more impressive, that you guys will be more attracted. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's a male thing, masculine thing. <laughs> you could be dealing with a female though. I'm just saying either way. Why the ten of wands? Ten of Swords, <clears throat> Queen of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. They feel like because they held back here or something, or if they continue to hold back and they don't take some sort of action, you guys are going to move on for some of you. Now, others of you where this person's connected, <laughs> okay, um, well, it's head over heart. What do I do? You know, wanting to make an ending, but not sure if that's the right thing. Six of Cups, Seven of Wands. Let me see how you feel about this person because I think that they are feeling that you're guarded for some reason. So let me just see. How does Pile 2 feel about this person right now? Nine of Swords. Okay. So you, yeah, you may be a little guarded here. Five of Wands, Knight of Cups. Y yeah, you wanted more emotion from this person and you never got it. And that's what caused the conflict. So yeah, I mean, you're guarded. They they can pick pick up on that, right? Because they didn't take action or something here. So now, pile two, what their intentions look to be are to take some sort of action. <laughs> Tell us about this action that they plan to take. What is the page of wands, six of wands? What's the connecting energy here? The fool. Somebody's about to take a leap, a leap of fate. You know, somebody who was guarded with emotions is about to make some sort of offer. Finally, tell you something that you've been waiting a while to hear. Validate some feelings here. Temperance at the bottom and death. It feels like there there has been some sort of maybe ending or where you've pulled back where there hasn't been a lot of contact. And uh, so, you know, this would be the first initial contact after a while, which I think you're both a little nervous to see each other if that's the case. It's the Emperor and the Ten of Cups. You are this person's wish fulfillment. They don't have anybody else here. Even if they are connected, they, they hands down feel the pull to you and they know that they're never going to find anybody better than you. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. And if this person chokes and they don't do it, they're going to live in regret forever. And you guys are going to be moved on, you know, soulmate or not is kind of the energy here. So I feel like this person is motivated to stop you before you go to speak some sort of truth to you, how much you're going to get. I don't know. I mean, it is the page of wands, right? So it's not the Knight of Cups that you guys want. <laughs> um, but I think that this initial action, whatever they're going to do, will segue into more of a romantic conversation in the future about this. Okay. All right, my loves. Well, this was specific. I'm going to leave this one here, pile two. Love to hear if this resonated with you guys today. And if you guys enjoy the reading, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. All right, guys. Until next time, I'll talk soon. Bye, pile two. Hi, Pile 3. Welcome to your reading. All right. We're going to take a look, find out what your person's intentions are here with you um, at the moment. See what's going on here. The cards are coming out. They're not resonating. Feel free to take a look at another pile. All right, Pile 3. What's your person's... Uh, what, are they, what do they want here? What are their intentions here with you? Ten of Cups. Okay. The Hangman. In the Eight of Pentacles, there's something here where they feel like they they can definitely see a future. I mean, the Ten of Cups, complete wish fulfillment. It's it's the whole thing. Uh, but then we have the Hangman and the Eight of Pentacles. So it feels like there's been either a stagnant energy, somebody trying to figure out how to make this work, or it could be the fact that somebody is busy with work in an attempt to 
make this more tangible, right? Because the 10 of cups is that 5D energy, um, emotional wish fulfillment, but the 10 of pentacles is the whole, the whole package. So let's see what's right with the hangman, Pisces energy out, the high priestess. Hmm. Tell me about the eight of pentacles. It's the eight of pentacles. Okay. So major focus on working out something here. The tower at the bottom and the eight of wands. This could shock you. I don't know, pile three, that you know that this person's like actively working on something behind the scenes. There's some sort of communication that's going to be coming in from them that they intend to do here that I think is going to shock you with the tower. Okay, I don't know that you're expecting it. It's uh, it's two eights, so we're we're seeing a lot of the eights here. So it feels like something is wrapping up to where they can move this forward, or they're going to communicate that they can. There's the sun and the nine of pentacles. They're almost here. They've got some good news. They want they want to tell you it's something about work. I feel like, or it's either they figured out a solution on how to make this work with you. One of the two. Okay. Yeah, it feels like there has been silence because I, I just like with the hangman, the high priestess, there's this intuitive knowing, but at the same time, the reason why this person is working so hard here that you don't see is, is because again, they're trying to get through some sort of obstacle, whatever this is for you guys. Let's roll the 10 of cups. Oh, wow. The Ace of Pentacles. I mean, look. This person is serious. They want it all. They've been working their butts off. I, I don't think that they've told you this yet. So some of you, because you haven't gotten this communication about what they've been up to, uh, you're kind of on the fence too. At the end of the day, they want the same thing. I'm assuming that you guys want this Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Cups as well. And I think that's what they're doing over here is trying to bring that together. <clears throat> okay, Ten of Cups. <laughs> yeah, it's the Five of Pentacles. Mm, they feel like they need more money. They need more stability, more finances here. There's a reason why they're feeling a little down about this. Okay. They've got big dreams about what they want to do here with you. But I think this person feels like they need a little more stability or something like that to be able to give you what they want. Why the hangman? Oh, the magician. Again, this is them like trying to figure out a way to move this forward. Tell me about the magician. I really don't know what the obstacle is here, but it does feel like, you know, this person isn't going to let that stop them. <laughs> it's strength. So again, another eight, another eight part out. Six of wands at the bottom and the eight of swords. So I feel like this person, yeah, there's, there's a lack of like, they've got big plans with you, pile three, but there is a lack of confidence that they can pull this off. They're nervous. They want to give you like the best of the best, it is similar to, I think it was pile two, um, where they want to impress you. And so they're nervous that they're, I think that's why they've been holding back this offer because it's not quite ready, but, but their intentions are, I mean, <laughs> this person has something planned out here with what they want. Two of swords, page of pentacles, but they, again, they feel like they need more before they come forward, before they, um, make a move. Tell us about the eight of pentacles. Tell us more. Oh, it's the fool. And that's just what we were talking about. Um, so we've got four, four majors out here. They want to, and a brand new beginning. They want to take this leap. Um, it just feels like they're, they're working on something here. Could be a surprise. If you're with this person, this is like proposal, um, stuff here. Why the fool? Temperance. They need a little more time. Okay, it's just what it is. And it's like they've got this really great idea of how they want this to go. And um, yep, there's the tower at the bottom again with the eight of wands. Oh, it's centering around this conversation. It could have been a while since you've talked to this person, but they want to come back in and balance something out. And I feel like this person has some news that is going to really shock you. I don't know what that means for you, but it's going to make you extremely happy <laughs> is what I'm saying. And uh, I think it's something you've been waiting for here, pile three. <laughs> Tell me about the high priestess. Interesting too, because I'm seeing the high priestess with the magician, with the fool. So this is like, you know, 
there's a spiritual connection here for sure. Um, they feel like this is worth taking that risk, but they want to make sure it's done just right or something. High Priestess. Let's see. Wow, another major. Okay, so we've got Virgo energy out with a hermit. What in the world is this person going through? They're going through some sort of spiritual thing here. <laughs> I mean, this is a, I wouldn't be surprised. I think you probably already know that this person's up to something here because there is this, there's a 5D connection between the two of you. Uh, no doubt. And then they're definitely trying to get through to you that way. I feel like this person is just like pulling on your energy while they're busy behind the scenes working on something. It's like, please don't lose patience. There's something here about time. It taking too long. You guys kind of getting bored maybe uh, because no movement, but they're over here actively doing something because their whole goal is to be able to offer you this. They can't right now. They feel like they can't. They need a little more time. What's over the Ace of Pentacles? Three of Swords. Hmm. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's just kind of the energy. I, I, I wish it's almost like this person, like they're like, I wish I could have already given you this because you do mean so much to me, and I want this with you. But I just think circumstances. Why is the Three of Swords here? Let's see. I mean, some of you may have already gotten tired and, and walked away. It's the Three of Pentacles and the Devil. Okay. Well, I'm gonna tell tell you guys this there there for some of you there's going to be a third energy here whatever that is that's karmic <laughs> um and it's kind of the block between this person taking that leap of faith and not doing it high priestess at the bottom and the six of cups okay either this person feels like there is something negative in their life this could be a mindset it could be a lack of money finances that's stopping them from building this with you i will say there's multiple threes so for some of you yeah there's already going to be a connection on the table and not really where they want to be <laughs> okay um but the high priest is six of cups this feels seven of wands ace of pentacles let me just see this this really quick the knight of swords Seven of Pentacles, Three of Swords. Okay. Well, listen, either way you're resonating with this, it doesn't matter. This person wishes that they would have already given you this Ace of Pentacles. They're not quite ready. They feel this intuitive pull to you. You've probably shared past lives with, with the High Priest of Six of Cups, right? And all the cards that we're seeing out here on the board. But there is a block, right? The Devil, the Three of Pentacles. And again, it could have something to do with work or finances here or possibly another connection. So... Tell me about this devil. And I, I feel like I'm going to get another deck. Seven of Pentacles came, uh, was at the bottom of that deck that I just pulled out. So again, there could be something with finances where they wish that they were a little further along in their career or stability wise than they are. Tell me about the devil. Ooh. <clears throat> it's the Eight of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and Death. King of Cups, Two of Swords. So somebody's waiting until they get this offer ready to tell you how they feel. <laughs> they feel like when they when they have something more solid to present with this Knight of Pentacles, then they're going to come forward. They're going to have this conversation. Again, another eight. Um, that is going to shock you. I don't, don't know that you see this coming. Behind that is Strength and the Hermit. And it's getting really hard for this person to hold back uh, for much longer here. But I just think the timing, I think they thought things would, they would have been further along than it is right now. So let's do the Ten of Cups. Why is that here with the Five of Pentacles? Ten of Swords. <clears throat> Nine of Swords. Three of Swords. The Sun and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, you, Pile Three, are all this person wants. They are fixated. This is like the whole reason why they are working so hard, why they're doing something here. And they're disappointed that it's taken so long. It's a repeating message. Okay. The sun, the eight of pentacles. This is all they're wanting. There's the magician behind that injustice. So you are like this person's everything. And I think they're beating themselves up that they can't already step up to the plate and take care of you guys the way that they want to. They're very hard on themselves here. They feel like it may be over as well. Um, 
tell me more about this Ten of Swords. They feel like they've taken too long. It's the Magician and uh, the Eight of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. What in the world? Ace of Wands and the Eight of Wands. Okay. Okay. 888. I don't know, Pile 3, what's happening here for you with that. But keep an eye out because that could be some sort of sign that this person is trying to send. Because I'm definitely getting like telepathic dream state 5D stuff here with whoever this is. They have abilities. You probably do too. Um, they're torn. They are they're They just want this. I feel like this person's willing to do whatever it takes. They're willing to wait however long it takes. Um, they don't want to. They want it now. I think you both do. But let me just see. Let's just really see here. What is the obstacle here? Because I, I'm getting its finances or something like that. That's stopping this. What's the obstacle here with this person? The main obstacle. Five of Cups. Ten of Swords at the bottom. Nine of Swords. Okay, well, for some of you, yeah, there's going to be somebody has to leave something. There has to be an ending. Now, others of you where that's not the issue and, and there's no third energy, it seems to be that there was an ending here between the two of you at some point. And this person is in like deep regret, sorrow, trying to work on this, feeling really down about themselves right now. Okay, you're like, this is their whole goal. Whatever they're doing here, they're motivated uh, to hopefully be able to reconnect here and, and give you something more solid this time. Nine of Pentacles and judgment behind that. Yes, this person wants to be free on their own. They want to be at that Nine of Pentacles before they offer you this Ace of Pentacles that goes to that Ten of Pentacles, right? Those, those two together. So there's something about that. And again, if they're connected, eh, you know, an ending has to be made there. But why the three of swords? Tell us more about that. Five of pentacles, eight of wands. My gosh. Okay. It's like they want to tell you something here. They've been working on something, but yet they've, they've held back from telling you what this is. So whether they're with somebody, whether they're just on their own and they are trying to build finances, I don't think this person has came clean with what they're doing. There's the fool at the bottom and the queen of wands, but this is all for you. Yeah, I'm just getting there's a lack of, of communication between the two of you right now. And this person really can't stand it. Okay. Um, they want to tell you something. They want to shed some light on something here. And I think that once they feel a little more confident, they get out of that five of cups. Um, then they then they will probably <laughs> come out of the shadows here. What's going on with this hermit and the high priestess, though? What does this mean? It's the five of wands. It wanted to come out in the reverse. So there's an internal struggle here. Two of wands. Ten of pentacles. Because they don't know that they can give you what you deserve. Uh, yeah, it's what it is. And they're, they're going within, they're trying to have a perspective change on this situation here because they want to make this work. All this pile is pile three is how I think this person has exhausted every avenue here of how they could potentially make it work. So again, I don't know if it's just them that's hard on themselves or if there's an actual obstacle justice and the nine of wands but they're to the breaking point they're about tired <laughs> they they need this to be balanced they feel like they're they're losing you guys um okay let me just see this magician here what's going on with the magician four of wands and queen of swords if they're in a connection then they are trying to reach a solution with that the moon and the wheel. Then there's the eight of wands back again. Okay, this is you. I think this is you. They want this with you. They want the whole thing, the whole four of wands coming back together. They feel like you have boundaries up though, pile three. Let me see how you feel. How do you feel about this person right now, pile three? Strength and king of pentacles. Are you, do you feel like they're like being stubborn or they, they, uh, four pentacles, they hold back? Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, but with the star and the four of wands behind that, you feel like this, this connection with this person, there's something about fate here or destiny here that you feel, um, 
this person could be it if they would just shape up. <laughs> okay, pile three. Yeah, there's something here they need to say, they need to talk about, and uh, it, it's like they don't want to lose you, but at the same time, they're having fears about this because they don't feel like they're quite ready enough to be where they want to be to make you some sort of offer here. All right. Well, what are they planning to do next here? We see them working on taking the sleep, so it is about that conversation that could shock you. They have something to say. I don't know what this is going to be. Maybe it could be that you know, hey, this is what I'm working on, but I need more time. So maybe you guys finally get the truth on that. But what are they going to do next? Three of Cups. Yes, there's comp there's communication. Three of Cups, Three of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. With the Queen of Wands at the bottom. Oh, yeah. Look, Collective, this person, they feel like you're, you're, you're the... They've been doing all this for you. So clearly they feel like you are a counterpart here. They want to build something. And I think there's reconciliation communication coming in that does lead to a timeline where you guys can have this. Okay. They got to get out of their head. They got to stop worrying so much about, you know, the 3D, what they have. Because I don't think that you guys are, are putting as much value on that as they are. So it just boils down to to almost impressing you guys but either way it's coming forward it's saying something it's expressing something and again for a lot of you it could shock you wow all right pal three well i'm gonna leave this one here love to hear if this resonated with you guys out there and if you guys enjoy the reading don't forget to like and subscribe all right my loves i'll talk soon bye